Hey guys, Bob Rossi here talking ball carts. Uh, got a cool break today. Uh, probably one of the nicer wax boxes I've broken. This is a uh, BBC uh, certified 1985 Topps wax box football. Um, so kind of in honor of the fantasy football championships that just went down, thought I'd break something nice. Um, I'm going to uh, go through this probably pretty slow, not feeling so hot today, uh, so not going to be too speedy, but um, if you're interested in just seeing the highlights, uh, fast forward to the end and I'll put together uh, my uh, slab cans that I'm going to put through uh, PSA's uh, quarterly special uh, before the year ends here where they're accepting gridiron greats uh, 72 through 89. Uh, so this is 85, so it falls in there. Um, there's some cool cards in here, uh, as you could see from the, as you could see from the front, um, the cards are black, uh, so the, the black stock is, is really, really tough, um, obviously, uh, notoriously difficult, uh, there is a story you could find online about the, these blacked out boxes, or X'd out, I think it's X'd out, um, is the term, there they are. Uh, let's get these out of there. 15 cards per pack. Got 36 packs. Um, stick of gum that's going to torch uh, one of the packs. Or, I'm sorry, one card per pack. Uh, like I said, I'm a little, <laughs> little out of it. Um, Dan Marino is on the bottom of the box in here. Uh, and Art Monk. Um, I guess the box cards, the box bottoms are actually worth something too if you cut them out. Uh, PSA actually grades them, but the box itself is is pretty rough, so I don't think there's any real hope at that there. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it here. Uh, looking for Walter Payton, uh, Warren Moon, All the Stars, Montana. Um, God, who else is in here? Marino. So our... Uh, Oh, man. Well, that's a bummer. First pack, first card, mutilated by the gum, Merino. Obviously, this is one of the cards uh, we're looking for. Um, the gum is, like, fused. Uh, maybe not so fused. I'll, get, I'll give that a shot off camera, see what I, can, what I could do, if anything, with that. Let's see if I could flip these. Um, I forget that there are some, there's some minis in here. So we got a... Uh, Dave Brown, Greg Coleman. Let me know if I miss any one of note, guys. There's that's cool. That's a Lawrence Taylor mini there. Jeez, um, let's see if we could take a look at that. I think it's actually a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. So we'll set that aside. That's obviously a notable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just noticed something, guys. The gum isn't on this card. It's on the card behind it. Um, let me try off camera here. Okay. Wow. It came clean. So here's the mutilated uh, Colts leaders card, which I'm going to set that aside because I don't really care about that. The Marino card came clean. So I would say the the gum has misshaped the card a bit, as you guys could see. Um, and, there, you know, a little ding here, but still a nice, uh, sharp card. Um, these are notorious for chipping, as you would uh, expect. But that's actually probably a slab can there. Um, I would say as long as I could get that uh, that bend out of the card and get it straightened up, it'd probably be like a 7 or an 8. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. I don't know how to slide these because they're uh, these horizontal layout. Mark Wilson, Art Monk, Ozzy Newsome. That's a cool one. Definitely a slab can I'll set aside there. Uh, so far, I'd say that these are these look real nice. Uh, not too many dings. Uh, Ernest, sorry about the sniffling, guys. Record breaker Dickerson. This is another notable. So this first pack already is probably has given me a handful of slab cans. Um, so 
already liking this box, I'd say. Uh, Danny White, Leslie Frazier, George Rogers. And again, you guys let me know if I'm missing anything. Uh, it took me five minutes to get through that first pack. A little embarrassing, but um, as I said, I am a little under the weather. Uh, not feeling so great. Patriots team leaders took the hit there and Paul Brown. So seeing a trend here, guys, um, as you could see, there's two cards here that were somewhat impacted by the gum. Uh, I'll work on that separately, but nothing too dramatic there. Brian Hansen flipped around. Let's see here. Okay. Bruce Hadley, Chip Banks, uh, Brian, Brian Hansen. Can't remember who do we got here for the sticker. James Lofton, that's cool. I'll set that aside. Chad Hughes. These are tough to read, just the way that they're laid out. Garris, uh, Mark Haynes, I'll set that aside. All Pro Haynes. Uh, Tom Kestamu. Evading Browns. Carl Banks. So the cards, the cards all have this kind of wave to them. I don't know if the box maybe was under a large amount of pressure at some time, at some point. Uh, gum debris flying. Yeah, this is going to be a longer break. <laughs> um, so we got a Tony Eason sticker there. John Hanna, all pro. Gerald Carter, setting up for the air attack. Mike Munchik. Um, I think that's actually, yeah, that's one of the nicer cards. But again, we have the problem where uh, the glue, the, the glue, the gum is impacting multiple cards here. So I might be able, I should be able to get that one clean. Okay, let's see here. AJ Dew. Stretching for the first down, Falcons, Dwight Clark, Gil Bird, Tony Nathan. Uh, not sure who that is for the Dolphins. Todd Bell, another all pro. Set him aside. Let me get some of these cleaned up. Yeah, so, you know, this box is expensive mostly because, well, you know, wax from the 80s is getting more expensive now, but um, there are some, there is some value uh, to PSA 10s in this set. Uh, PSA 10s uh, with the big names such as uh, Walter Payton and, you know, Marino, Elway, they'll, they'll fetch over a thousand bucks. Um, so they, you know, it's, it, it's, Pulling a premium, obviously, because of the value that you could potentially get out of these. Uh, Stump Mitchell, Randy White, we'll set him aside. All right, Randy. Packers, Steve DeBerg, Al Gross. Um, Al Gross got took the hit with the gum. We'll set aside another Lawrence Taylor there. Rolf, Pat Ryan. Okay, this is a cool one here. Um, got Montana. So this is a 49ers leaders card, uh, which I'm going to set aside here. Obviously, it has Montana. Raymond Claiborne. Doug English. 49ers. Uh, so championship card. I think that's number seven. Yeah, that, that one has some value, I believe. Doug Cosby and... Uh, Herman Hurd. Okay. All right. Yeah, just dealing with the cold, not the corona, luckily. Let's see here. Jesus, look at this guy. Uh, Dave Wilson. Rick protecting the quarterback. 
So we got that, and then Jeff Bryant took the brunt of the gum. Here's another Lofton. I'll set that aside. Johnny Liam. Johnny Lamb. Oh, there he is. Sweetness. Ho, ho. Okay, let's take a close look here. Looks pretty good. Um, centering off left to left to right. Let me get it centered for you guys. Uh, I'll use my uh, glare here to take advantage of this, uh, showing you the surface. I'd say it looks pretty good. Um, top to bottom is good. Left to right, obviously, the image is pushed a little that way. It's a nice card. Um, if I had to put a grade to it, I looking at the corners. Um, since it's the Peyton, I you know I'm definitely gonna sub it, but I think the best it'll do is probably a seven or eight. I don't know if that centering will allow for an eight, but still a uh, nice card. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop that one right away into a card saver. Very grateful he didn't take the gum blast. So, probably a highlight there so far. Uh, cool. We'll set that aside. Obviously, that'll be in the slab can, slab can summary at the end. Uh, let's go ahead and finish off this pack. Jets. Win Dickie. Luis. Oh, Plunkett. Cool. I'm a Raider fan, so... Plunkett looks pretty damn centered. Uh, definitely gonna set that aside. Gerald Willett, Willett, Pete. Joe Ferguson, advancing the ball downfield. Bengals. Well, nice to land that card early. Um, kind of surprise, well, that's good. I mean, the checklist, I think for this set, it's only like 350 cards or something like that. Um, it's not a huge checklist. So, you know, in a wax box like this, um, I, there's another. So we're seeing some collation issues, which uh, are going to hopefully benefit us here. Uh, Dickerson, record breaker. I think this one's a little better centered than the last one, too. So that's good to see. Uh, Danny White. Okay, let's go back this way. Leslie Frazier. George, uh, George Rogers with the, some gum sticking to the other card. Oh, man. Mike Singletary took the brunt here. Um, obviously, we wanted the Singletary to be a nice, nice card. There's the Singletary, but the gum has abused the back. Um, not sure how that, how well that gum will or will not come off. Gonna set it aside anyways. Um, so, yeah, that's okay. Um, hopefully he comes up again. Here we are. Leroy Irvin, Jamie, Ronald James, Chris Barr, rushing to, towards rookie stardom. Yeah, again, guys, sorry about how slow I am. Mike Haynes, awesome. We'll set him aside. It's notable. Tony Eason. Jack Youngblood. Okay. Okay. It'd be nice if I could do this without uh, constantly jarring the camera and whatnot. Let's see. If I could get my life together a bit. <laughs> Mike Renfro. Mark Wilson. Uh, saw this already. This uh, Wilson. Uh, I'm sorry. Ozzie Newsome Art Monk card. Uh, Ernest Jackson. So who took the hit on the gum? Mike Coffer. Uh, let's see. Jesus. Someone's ringing the door. John Stallworth, um, Art Still, got Rod Martin All-Pro, nice, Sylvester, 
Ron Cherry. Oh, large and nice. Uh, it's got like some little bit of print defect maybe right there uh, over his eyes, but otherwise a really nice sharp card. So, um, well, I have someone crazy ringing my door, so I'm gonna pause real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see here, let's get back into it. Uh, Steve Watson. Sweetness, so this is another, this is another nice card here. Uh, desirable one from the set, Got an action pick. I was gonna set that aside, that's a, oh wow, couple big hitters here. There it is, the Warren Moon Hall of Fame rookie. Uh, let's take a close look at that one there. So, first thing I notice is that there's a little bit of indentation right there. Um, not sure how that, you know, came to be, but that's just, you know, it's 80s, cards from the 80s. Uh, centering's off a little bit, but still a pretty nice card all in all. Um, definitely still a slap can as a Hall of Fame rookie. Um, so we're going to put him aside, obviously. Uh, Boy Green and Howie Long. Wow, so we got another Hall of Famer here. Um, that's a pretty nice one, too. Uh, cards, cards, they have like a little bit of a... All of them have a little bit of that bend to them. Um, so, it, 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 well, most of them do. I'll leave it at that. So we've already seen a lot of the cards that we're after here. So I would say so far that the box has already mostly delivered um, on the big hits. Whoa, this has several more cards flipped this time around than previous. Uh, Tim Smith. Ray Ellis, James Wilder, Mark Clayton. Uh, this is uh, all pro card. He was victim to the gum, so we'll still set him aside. Uh, let's see here for our uh, sticker, Randy McMillan, Tony Hill. Let's just set that down there. Tony Hill, Mark Mosley, Chargers, jarring the ball, ball loose. Stump, Randy White, nice. We'll set him aside, of course. Uh, All pro Mike Haynes, yes, sir. You're getting set aside as well. And then a Dave Krieg. Yeah, so I'd say this box is already giving me most of what I was looking for in this first stack of packs. Excited for, uh, excited to grade some of these. Ricky Jackson, Ken Jenkins, Wendell Tyler, Irving Fryer. So let's see, gum, gum has, oh man, that's a bummer. Looks like the gum has claimed Dan Fouts. Let's see, ever so gently here. Uh, still looks okay. Uh, Dan does sign through the mail. So, you know, with the gum abuse, uh, this might be a good, uh, candidate for a, uh, TTM, TTM auto. Uh, Irving Fryer. Yeah, this is his rookie. I can't remember if this is a notable one. He actually looks pretty good. Um, uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got, uh, John Stallworth for our sticker. Uh, spotting his deep receiver. Let's go back to this way. Van Williams, Steve DeBerg, Al Gross, Vikings smothering the opposition, Chiefs, Bobby Kemp, Donnie Shell, Butch Johnson, Derek Ramsey. Yeah. Um, really happy so far with these. That is just the first stack, my friends. So again, sorry for the marathon video. Um, might have to break it into two parts. Or like I said, um, if it's too long, just, uh, just go ahead and fast forward. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, this doesn't have a full stick of gum. Um, it's only a partial stick. <laughs> Charlie Brown, <laughs> uh, Stacey Bailey, Vernon, Maxwell, record breaker Charlie Joyner, 
Nice. Um, let's see who our gum victim is. Mickey Schuler. And then let's see if I can get it unstuck here. Yeah, so that, that record breaker came pretty unscathed. Oh, sorry. Not really managing the camera too well here. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Schuler. I should put all the gum cards in their own stack. Billy Ray. Eagles. Matt. Miller, Logan, Mike, Clay Matthews, Mark Duper, nice, Lawrence Taylor. That's one of the big ones, obviously. Well, not huge, but one of the bigger cards, obviously. This surface looks nicer, I'd say. Um, centered a little better. I think that's a definite slab candidate there. Um, then we got... Rick Ryan to bring us home there. Okay, I need to clean up my stacks a little bit. They get a little unwieldy over here on me. Okay. All right. Okay. And again, yeah, just taking my time with this because it's such a, uh, well, for me, it's a higher end break. Um, and uh, wanted to enjoy it. Okay, got another Stalwart sticker. Mike Merrymeather, Merryweather. There's Joe. Man, we are we're cleaning up on the stars. Joe Montana looks good. Pretty well centered. Um, Pretty egregious blue print spot there, but not bad on the edge of the card. So, wow, that's a beaut. Um, not sure how else to put that. That's a that's a one hundred percent making it into the submission card. Uh, Ken Anderson, who is our gum. Jan Stanerud, I'm not going to take the time to snap him apart. Willie Tullis, Dolphins. Mark Conley, Urza Johnson, Ronaldo. There's a Super Bowl card, number nine. Zeke Mowit, Phil Sims, nice. That looks pretty good. Glenn Blackwood, Redskins, a diesel named Desire. I think that's just Riggins. I think that's Riggins. That's pretty damn cool if you ask me. You guys are hearing that uh, sneezing. That's my dog. Dog is craving some attention. As she usually does. Looking very cute. Okay, all right. Randy McMillan, Steve Freeland, Lionel Washington, Pat Leahy, Leahy, and Mike Sansford is our glue, our gum victim. I keep saying glue, mostly because the cards are, <laughs> the cards are pretty well stuck together, so it's like they're glue. Uh, there's a Roger Craig, I'll set him aside. Um, yeah, um, one thing I'll mention is even, uh, let's see, number seven. That's, that's still pretty nice. Uh, even just a common card. If you get a common card graded in a 10, that's that's a 50 to an $80 card, so not bad. Um, thwarting the passing game and Mike Webster. Okay. Again, sorry for the sniffles. Okay, Charlie Joyner, nice. Set him aside. Another Stallworth. Ozzy Newsome, nice. Looking a little old there. 
What a nice card. That's real nice. Um, sharp looking. I'm a, I'm really pleased. Um, I would say that I didn't expect this many stars just so early on. Uh, we'll see how the rest of the box goes. Gum got got by the uh, Mark Gastineau. And then we got a uh, Gary Anderson and Mark Bershung. Lewis Lips. I think that's actually a notable here. Uh, Pete. Joe Ferguson advancing the ball. Daryl Darwin Nelson, Tommy, Chris Barr. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having some serious stacking problems with these damn gum cards. So I need to start, <laughs> I need to start setting those aside. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, the, uh, the checklist is only uh, 350 some odd cards, if my memory serves me correctly. So, you know, 36 packs, 15 cards, feasibly, you could build a complete set. But um, from what I've seen online, it's very, very unlikely. Um, just collation issues and whatnot. Eugene Daniel, Malcolm, Marty, Ed, Tyrone Young got was captured by the gum. I'm going to set that aside in a separate stack there. Rushing towards rookie stardom. Second time we've seen that. There's John Riggins. I think that's his first time we come across his base card. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's, let's set that aside there. Reggie Camp. Sammy White. Tony Eason. Uh, I, Tony Eason. I think, I think that's actually a Jack Youngblood. Art Still, Rod Martin, All-Pro, Richard Dent, All-Pro. I'm just going to set all the All-Pros aside. Tim Lewis, that's it for that pack. Okay. Now the dog's uh, getting some water. Might be able to hear that. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, not worried about the stickers anymore. Kurt Warner, but not the Kurt Warner everyone thinks of. Bill Bates, Jim Burt, All Pro Reggie Roby, and Steve Nelson ate the gum for us. Steve Largent again, and uh, funny thing, we're seeing that same kind of like print defect there on uh, Steve's face. But a nice card, nonetheless, of a Hall of Famer. Um, Steve Watson. Sweetness. Another nice sweetness card with the with another with the blue print spot, but that's okay. Jacob Freeman. Another nice Howie card. Digging that. Uh, the collation issues are fine with me as long as they're giving us uh, more. No, James Lofton, more star cards. <laughs> That's fine. Bad collation is okay in that case. Um, got a little, got a little spill over here. Keeping all these cards balanced with the way that they're, they're kind of. Well, they're a little screwed up because of some of the gum warping and whatnot. But, um, other than that. These are looking great. Yeah, I haven't looked online to see if, like, everyone has experienced a similar issue with the card stock where, you know, it gets kind of warped from the, the gum being in there or whatnot. Bobby Johnson. Carter Hardung. Henry Allard. Laird. Dean, or Vernon Dean. William Gay. Tackled by the gum. Pete Johnson. Joe, there's a Theisman. That's nice. Interesting helmet design there. Tommy 
Flynn. Derek Green. More, there's Morton Anderson. Nice Hall of Famer. Set him aside, of course. Ray Worsung. Jackie Slater. Anthony Munoz. We'll set him aside. Even though he's got his wax stain on the back. Okay. All right. Ah, gum just came right off. Appreciate that. Uh, Leo Wisniewski. This is just, oh, Tom Jackson. Uh, these are just tough to read uh, with the horizontal configuration and how they run the, the last name vertically. Got a Lionel destroyed by the gum. Okay. Lomax busting through defense. Who's that? That's I think that's Dors Dorset. So that's kind of a cool one. I'll set that aside like that. There's a Dan Hampton All Pro. We'll set him aside. Uh, Colts. Leo Lewis. Jeff Rutledge. Neil O'Donohue and Larry Kinneru. Yeah, you know, I, I was on the fence whether or not I wanted to buy wax or cello packs. And uh, through a little bit of research I did online, um, it appears that the consensus is if you want some, if you want to grade some cards, the wax packs are probably the best way um, uh, in a close, well, closely second, or I think they said uh, vending boxes are the, second best best option and then cello packs being the worst op option which was kind of a surprise to me but i think it boiled down to uh the wax packs are um are sealed a little tighter um so i guess there's that could make some sense um there's a jim mcmahon let's just set him aside there accidentally <laughs> oh that's a cool one uh, leaders, Montana Marino. Definite. Take a closer look at that. Uh, da, da, da. Engulfing the quarterback. That's a cool uh, Lawrence Taylor card there. I'll set that aside. Uh, again, I'll take a I'll take a close look at these and see if there's any. Look at that hair. Take a close look at these and see if any jump out at me as being. Really good slab cans. And take it from there. Got a little mountain of stickers here. Let me know if any of you guys collect uh, the stickers. And if you're, if you watch this whole video, um, you deserve a little something. So if you like the stickers, uh, Find my email, uh, it's talkingballcards at gmail.com. It'll also be in the video description. And uh, shoot me your address and I'll uh, let me know what stickers you saw that you like and I'll, I'll throw a few in there for you. I won't give you all of them. I wanna, I'll send a few out to a few different folks, but uh, shoot me your name and address. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll drop, a, drop a card in the mail for you and we'll, uh, we'll get you some free stickers. There's the door set. That looks pretty good. Um, again, kind of has this waviness to the card, which I think I can straighten out, uh, hopefully. Oh, man, that's a bummer. So, looks like uh, Art Monk here was our sacrifice to the gum. Yeah, it's just totally mutilated. I don't know if Art Monk signs. <laughs> I'm going to set him aside, but Tommy Kramer, Saints, Hugh, Jeff Kemp, Marcus Allen, nice. I'm a big Air Marcus fan, so we'll keep that one on the side there.
Moving along. Bummer about the Monk card. I think that's the first time we came across his base. Okay, isn't that a Stallworth sticker? Larry Moriarty. Uh, I think this is the Record Breakers. Yeah, nice. Uh, or Team Leaders card for showing uh, Dickerson there. Brian, and then Uwe Vaughn, someone took the gun. Let's see here. That looks, it's probably another one I could unstick. Vaughn Shaman. Well, he goes in with all the other gum casualties. Brian Holloway, Jim. Tom Flynn, Kenny Easley, leaders cards. I, I like the leaders cards, so I'm going to set that aside too. Reggie Williams, Chris Hinton. I just think this is a cool design, um, although tough to read. <laughs> tough to read the names. And I like breaking some of this older stuff. Um, Although 85, I mean, 85 now is, this is 35 year old wax. So um, there's a reason there's a bit of a premium for it. There's a Ronnie Lott. That looks pretty nice. Da, da, da. Bruce Harper and then Mike Ken got the glue or God damn, got the gum, Paul Kaufman, Billy Sims, Tony Franklin, Everson Walls, Greg Bell, Mike, Bill Mass, Henry Lawrence, Ruben Carter. Okay. Yeah, the gum really does a number. Uh, sometimes, you know, you'll see the gum and other wax not do a whole lot, but the gum really does a number on at least what I've seen in these packs. It's It's been hard on them. <laughs> James Jones. <clears throat> Cliff Branch. We'll set him aside. Okay. Joe Nash took the gum bullet. Frank Pollard, there's there's the Walter Payton record breaker. Uh, that's another notable card. Uh, got a dinged corner, but that's okay. Bucky, Duckworth. <laughs> I'm just butchering some of these names, and that's fine. We got to move on. John Stallworth getting a little long in the tooth there, but uh, still. Worthy of a closer look. I think I might have saw Marino coming up. When I did the little slide there, there he is. So we are seeing some uh, repeat customers. And just like the last Merino, it is the second card impacted. And it was a Colts team leaders the last time around too. So um, in these, damn. I think the Dan came away relatively unscathed. A little bit of a mark there. Um, the Colts leaders card is uh, vaporized effectively, but the Dan, not bad. Off left to right, as many of them have been, but looks pretty good. Um, maybe not quite as nice as the other uh, because of that, that one spot in particular. But um, with, these, with this collation, that means that in about 
three or four packs from now, Eric Dickerson. I think we, I I hope we're gonna have a uh, some nice repeats. Uh, hopefully another. Hopefully we'll see another sweetness here. That would be fine by me. If we see all the cards we've seen again, that'd be pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know what we're missing now in the way of bigger cards. Um, another Lawrence Taylor sticker. Chip Banks. Brian Hansen. Paul McDonald. Patriots team leaders card. Kenny Johnson. Dexter. Marino record breaker. That's cool. Um, the record breaker cards have some value. Uh, Mike Bell. Diving. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Marcus Allen. Going, going through the air. Diving through the air. Pits. Awesome. Okay. Almost to the bottom of stack number three here. All right. John Hanna. All pro. Set him aside. Gerald Carter. Setting up for air attack. Marvin Powell took the gun bullet. Got a uh, FC championship. RC. Got a checklist. I think that's the first time we've seen a checklist. There's the Elway card. First time we've seen him. Elway's still a very young man there. Off center, left to right. Uh, not terribly, but nothing's been really like miscut, but still not ideal centering, which <laughs> 80s wax never is ideal. Ideal is uh, typically the exception. So I was just wondering if... Uh, you know, I was wondering about how many in a in a box like this, how many PSA tens, if it would be an expensive experiment, obviously, but how many PSA tens would you get out of an entire box if you were insane enough to submit them all? Al Gross. I don't know. I I was thinking about that and I'd probably put it around like maybe Three percent, two to three percent. I'd be interested to see what uh, what our friend of the hobby, Nolan, uh, would say. Two Randy Whites in the same pack. That's interesting. John Hanna All Pro. A lot of repeats here. All right. Last pack of the third stack. Okay. Don Rogers. Dave Wilson. Rick. Seen this card a million times now. This Buccaneers leaders card. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of... <laughs> a lot of repeats here. Banks refusing to be denied. That's some cool little sayings that they throw in on here. Okay, last last pack, or I'm sorry, getting into the last stack. Okay. Okay, got a checklist. There's Elway again. Always got, uh, again, it's not just not a very flat card, um, as a lot of these have been kind of, uh, they're not creased, they're just bent. Um, 
So, it's not ideal, but so be it. Okay. Ernest Jackson. Here's another uh, Dickerson Record Breakers. Danny White. Frazier. George. There's a Singletary. Um, the other Singletary, I think, was screwed up. Um, buy some gum. Gary Anderson. And uh, Joe DeMarble. All right. Home stretch. You don't realize how many cards it is until you, you know, you've opened them all. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, these have quite a bit of residue on them. Not sure what's up with that. Dolphins, RC. Yeah, seeing a lot of familiar names here. Seen this card about four or five times now, I think. Four times. Here's, another, here's a decent Riggins. Sammy White. And, and so, you know, so far... <laughs> Especially out of the star cards, I think the best we've seen is probably a PSA 9. Um, I don't think we've seen any PSA 10s. Uh, just, just from the fact that we've seen everything from uh, cards having, you know, bent stock to uh, dings to centering issues to print defects, and, and, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, but the star cards, too, to get a little money back on what I paid for the box, I don't, I don't need tens, so that's okay. Okay. There's another Air Marcus. We'll see which one's nicer. Probably won't submit both, but um, Mike Pitts. There's a Steve Largent, again, with the same print defects. So I think that's something that is... Uh... Oh, nice. There's the Bears leaders. The other... Uh, I think that's the third. Um, there's three Walter Payton cards in this set, I believe. There's another Howie. Looking good. Tony Hill. Mark Mosley. James Lofton. Nice. We'll set him aside, too. Okay. All right. Man, this has been... This has been fun. Kind of exhausting for me. Like I said, a little low on energy. There's the Marino Record Breaker. And uh, Paul McFadden got glued to the back of that one. There's a, another Theisman. So when I'm picking out the slab candidates here, obviously the, the name is going, I need it to be up, you know, a name of note. Um, so that's why I'm setting aside just any anyone that I know um, and any relevant, you know, names in history, but also want them to be centered and have a decent chance at a grade. I'd say my cutoff for submitting these will probably be around an eight, um, what I perceive to be an eight. Um, so might miss that mark or make a few exceptions here and there. Like for example, I probably would have submitted the, the Walter Payton no matter what, um, just, to, just to do it uh, because it's a Walter Payton card. There's another Dickerson. Uh, this one's pretty nice, but it's off left to right. So I'm going to set it aside. Um, popping one loose. Cardinals team leader, Anthony Munoz. I'm set him aside too. Neil. Busting through. Let's start set. Uh, Dan Hampton, all pro. Okay, let's gotta get this organized a little bit. Jeff Rutledge, 
Okay. If I don't set these uh, these gum cards aside, they cause the stacks to just go crazy. <clears throat> This is the fourth to the last. Stallworth. Charles Bowser, Bowser, Fred Dean, Rulon Jones, Larry Kinnebrew. Let me set that gun card aside there. Hugh Green would be awesome to see one more Walter Payton. There's another Marcus Allen. Seems like they're just well. There's there's been a good amount of uh, Walter Payton cards, but only that one of his main uh, kind of base card, as you would call it. The rest were those kind of. There was a leader's variation and something else. I can't remember. Um, a team leader. And then a record breaker, I think. Okay. Set him aside the gun card. Ross. Mark Malone. Bruce Clark. There's another McMahon. Otis Anderson. There's that. We've seen that leader's card a couple of times with the Marino. Ken O'Brien, engulfing the quarterback. That's that's pretty cool too. Monte Coleman. Okay, second to last pack. Bobby Duckworth and Bucky Scribner. Dealing with some gum there. Okay. There is a Walter Payton, but it's his record breaker card again. Nothing wrong with that. Um, cool to see that as many of those as we have seen. Um, now the rushing leaders, Robin Cole, Reggie Williams, Chris Hinton, Fred Smirnless, Andre Tippett. Joe Washington and uh, Chavius Barney or Barney Chavius. What a name. Last pack. Let's see here. All right. We got a Lawrence Henry. Wrecked by the gun. Mike Horan, Tony Collins. Some of these look like mug shots. Dan Fouts, that's a nice one. Tim Smith, Billy Sims, Tony, Greg Bell, Mike Renfro. There's another Henry Lawrence. Well, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and review, review the cards, see which ones are the slab cams, and then I'll show you the recap here in just a second. Okay, guys, thanks for sticking that out. Um, I got the slab cans here. So, you know, after taking a close look at these cards, I, I don't think I have a chance at even a, really a single gem. Maybe one. Um, I got three of these uh, Walter Payton uh, Bears Leaders cards. They all have that little print dot there, that blue fisheye. Um, one thing I'm happy about with this box is the number of Walter Paytons that came out of it. Like, I think I got six in total. This is his only base card I pulled out of there. Uh, record breaker, Payton. There's another one. Then we got a pair of Elways. Centering is going to hold most of these back. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to have a, hopefully a good amount of eights. Handful of nines, maybe a few sevens in there. Um, 
Paul Kaufman. Steve McMichael. I think this is his rookie. Yeah. Henry Laird. That's his rookie, I believe. Ken Anderson. Marino record breaker. Most TDs. Marino base. There's another Marino base in there, but it's a little rough, so don't think it'll go in. Uh, Largent. All of them have this print issue there. The moon. Uh, this one probably actually only get a six. There's this little surface indent here, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Uh, Montana, 49er leaders card. Montana base, nice card. Lawrence Taylor. Irving Fryer. Richard Dent, got a few of these. Uh, Gum took a few of them down. Um, another one was just a little screwed up. And Charlie Joyner, uh, I think I'm gonna sit and get this graded and give it to my buddy. My hands are a little sweaty. <laughs> All right, guys, well, thanks for sticking it out. I'm gonna get these in the mail uh, to PSA. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the whole thing. And uh, you know, shoot me your address if you want some of the stickers from this break. Um, Paparazzi out of here, talking ball cards.